Uh, I want to start by thanking Ari for his introduction to my lecture, because the industry is calling for more technical educated people. And this problem is coming more and more seen uh, today. The technology is developing fast, but the early educational system has fallen behind. Children can use the computer, they can play games, browse the internet, and etc., etc. But only few of them can work with the computer and program their own games. We need to take a step ahead and get the early educational system in line with technolo technological advancement and start computer programming at the first stage of primary schools. But what can we do to promote, promote interest in technology, te technology? Well, first things first, we need to set beside the method, learn it yourself. This is me, only a few years ago, as you can see. <laughs> and yes, I was a nerd. This was then, and this is how I got started, with my Sinclair Spectrum. I can still remember it. Who doesn't remember plugging this to the TV, program thousands of lines from a book, and record it to a tape recorder just to play Hangman? But I got to learn how to program, but I would have loved to been able to learn how to program in school. Look at technology today. The children are the ultimate users. They are doing a great job at feeding from it. Research has shown that children can learn how to program. Even a six-year-old can do it. They have a special talent in learning new languages. Programming is just a language, a language that both the user and the computer understand. But what will do the trick? Should we feed them with complex code, drown them in syntax errors, let them use Fibonacci or print out Hello World? Well, who wouldn't get scared? And that's what's happening. People are scared. They think that technology is only for nerds and superbrains. But I have to give it to you, that's not the case. We can all do it. We can all learn how to program. We have all the information about what works and what doesn't. If we use research space from psychology, education and technology, we can start a methodology and tools for teachers to face their fears. Now it's time for the teachers to lean back, relax and enjoy the ride. Positivity is a key factor. We need to let our guards down and enjoy working with the students and embrace their knowledge. Automated learning through game playing can give us a head start for the future. It's effective and it's fun. Few tips to get you started. Use the industry. Get the Get them to come and visit and share the passion and the knowledge. Use peer teaching. I was amazed how well that works. It's both effective and it's fun. And, of course, it provokes interest. There are a lot of 3D environments with the technology today. We can use these systems and without the syntax errors, of course. And finally, use as much graphical display as possible. That's how our mind works. Pictures and mind maps will do the trick. But why? And what do we gain? We will have social effect and we will have effect on the children themselves. We will provoke interest, get more people in technology, higher grades, effective workers and of course, cognitive effect, and this has been shown by research studies. What has not been shown is the effect on the children, like self-esteem. It's especially effective with children with disabilities like ADHD. 
This summer, I held a course, and I saw it with my own eyes how effective this is. These kids are in their best environment to learn, and it was amazing what came out of it. What you have seen here, the graphical display, is all made by children 6 to 11 years old, and I am extremely proud of them. The economy of the future builds on knowledge of technology, and in this case, the children are the most valuable investment. Thank you.